Greetings, unsettled souls. One moment while I wait for my computer to go live. Uh, for those of you watching this on the uh, Correct Views uh, YouTube site, it does go live. So keep an eye on my Facebook because uh, these shows are now recorded live. Unfortunately, they are not synced, so we have a moment while we wait for the ever-loving Google Chrome to speed up. While I'm waiting to start this, don't forget to support Dana Mobley Christ, D-A-N-E-A -E Mobley Christ on Facebook. She runs the Charity Connection, and she lately has been rather ill. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to raise as much money for her as we can. Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. reporting for The Media Speaks. And it is that time! The Dunce Cap of the Month Award! Yes, indeed, another month has indeed gone by. Let's get our dum -dee music ready. Yes, indeed, the dumb dances of America have struck once again. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the end, too, because I got some runner-ups, which we normally don't have. Oh, well, listen to this. All right, guys. We live in an economy that is questionable, to say the absolute least. Look at the economic collapse. It's a website. Go to the American Dream. That's another website. Look at the economic data that they're showing us because all of it is abysmal. And yet, Abercrombie and Fitch, no fat people. Abercrombie and Fitch admit not wanting larger people in their stores. Well, you know what, Abercrombie and Fitch, I might just go ahead and uh, make sure, you know, let's face it, I mean, we don't all have good looking friends. They can't all be as pretty as me. I'll tell you what I would do if, 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 uh, if you guys would like to join me. Uh, there's an Abercrombie and Fitch in Canton. Let me get 10 people on my comment line that say that they'll actually go shopping there with me. And I'll go on black makeup and black eyeliner and full band passing time regalia and head in. Listen to this. Let me shut the dum -dee song off and check this out. Robin Lewis, co-author of The New Rules of Retail, told Business Insider that the retailer's CEO, Mike Jeffries, doesn't want larger people shopping at his store. He wants thin and beautiful people. He doesn't want his core customers uh, to see people who aren't as hot as them wearing his clothing, he added. Well, I'm going to do my part to make sure that nobody wears your clothing. In a 2006 interview, Mr. Jeffries told Salon uh, that's why we hire good-looking people in our stores, because good-looking people attract other good-looking people, and we want to market cool, good-looking. We want to market to cool, good-looking people. We don't market to anyone other than that. Well, the first statement automatically warrants the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, because good-looking people do not just attract good-looking people. Good-looking people attract just about everybody, uh, at least until your average good-looking person opens their mouth and you realize just how stupid they are. In every school, there are cool people and popular kids, and then there are the not-so-cool kids, he ended candidly. We go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive all-American kid with a great attitude and a lot of friends. You know what? When I went to school, at least three-quarters of the good-looking people were jerks. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are they? Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. Well, I'm going to try to make it even more exclusive for you. He argues that ostracizing some customers by using sex and six-packs to sell clothes leaves his loyal customers wanting more. Anybody else but me never once had the desire to wear any of their clothing, even before this? 
those companies that are in trouble are trying to target everybody young, old, fat, skinny, but then you become totally vanilla. You don't alienate anybody, but you don't excite anybody either, he said. I'm not a big fan of Nike, but I'm pretty sure they're not vanilla, and they target to everybody. Again, I'd never wear Nike, but how many of you go to stores or go to restaurants? You see fat people wearing Nikes. I see it all the time. Those companies that are in trouble are trying to target... I read that one, my bad. In 2004, the company was sued for giving positions to white applicants to the exclusion of minorities, and in June 2009, British student Ryan Dean, who was born without a left forearm, won approximately 12 grand in an unemployment tribunal. Well, you know, buddy, we got your award. Let me put that up there where it can be seen real nice. I'm going to read to you what it says. This fine dunce cap here, brought to you by the fine people at Nitro Slash Pack. Go to uh, Mediaspeaks.com. Click on the link for Nitro Slash. Nitro hyphen pack. Look at that. Dunce cap. Look at that nice fat guy, Christelle. She all did herself this time. Little sad person there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Congratulations to you and Abercrombie and Fitch for being the winner of this month, Dunce Cap of the Month Award. For not only being in such a state of monetary bliss that even during our nation's economic woes, you fine dolts can not only afford to offend would-be customers who may be a bit less than sexy, but for some reason still want to wear your hipster trash clothing, but you in doing so also prove that you have less taste than even your overpriced and very overrated clothing line. Fear not, I wrote, for as of this posting and its eventual sharing all over the internet, all of internet land will know what you think of them. For even perfect people have those pesky, like so unperfect friends. And this posting will warn them that it is best not to go into your store at all. Oh yeah. Now, for those of you that don't know, this gets tucked in here, and it gets sent to Abercrombie and Fitch. Now, if you guys would like to let them know what you think of it, you can uh, also write them where I'm sending this to, 6301 Fitch Path, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. And guys, that is how you win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award uh, for the first time ever. We have runner-ups. Tonight was really, really hard to pick one. I had to ask a couple of my loyal listeners to do it. Um, let, me, let me tell you what the runner-ups were. First of all, honorable mention goes to the Westboro Baptist Church. I didn't want to choose them because they are so universally despised, even among Christians, that when I'm trying to do something at the end of the year, and if I have somebody that is that polarizing, it's not going to work. That's the only hint you have. The other reason I didn't want to do it is because I was concerned about people thinking that it was an attack by me on Christianity. No, it's just an attack on dumb, dumb Christians. And uh, by that I mean the Westboro Baptist Church. Why were they going to get it? Most churches would do anything for this situation to happen to them. Now, I don't mean that, you know, they want someone to die. I mean that if someone dies who is famous in the satanic or non-Christian crowd, then a lot of times you can reach some of their followers, followers with the word if you reach out properly. Westboro Baptist Church, rather than reach out to all the Slayer fans when Jeff Hanneman died, they alienated them, picketed the funeral, or at least claimed they were going to, and talk down to all of their fans. So now, your average 14-year-old weekend Satanist who may have been open to, uh, you know, a teaching about the importance of the decisions that you make and the fragility of life, now hate God even more because they associate it with these boneheads at the Westboro Baptist Church. Good job of missing the greatest witnessing opportunity in the last five years, idiots. The other ones that almost I wanted to give it to was the teacher that was disciplined for advising students of their constitutional rights. Uh, it's from InfoWars. You can look it up. 
Uh, it's in my last story. A high school teacher in Chicago was disciplined by a school board after he warned students that it might be a real good idea to not incriminate yourself by answering a question on your illegal activities with your name at the top of the paper because he informed them of what the, uh, what the uh, Fifth Amendment is. He is getting a uh, written reprimand. So if you would like to contact um, Batavia School Board um, and stick up for Mr. John Dryden, who is actually teaching students, you can let them know that the Batifa School Board almost won the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, just like the Westboro Baptist Church did, but no! No, no, no. It went to Abercrombie and Fitch, the most overrated garbage hipster wannabe clothing line in all of recorded history. Thank you for listening to The Correct Views. Shout out to Celestial CK who nailed what I was doing this month. Nice job. Uh, it costs a small fortune to send these dunce caps every month, so donate to me. How much do you think it's worth? Every month, I send a dunce cap. I've sent them out to the DNR. I've sent them out to banks that are throwing uh, perfectly good food away while starving poor people watched it happen. I've sent dunce caps out all over the place. I've sent it to a police who uh, infringe upon people's rights. Once a month, somebody gets a dunce cap, and I need somebody to help me pay to send them out as part of the show. Good night, friends, and thanks for listening. Good night, God bless, and make sure you go to the Media Speaks. Stay there. Watch it. And I'm going to shut us off the air.